Welcome. Uh, His Serene Highness, Prince uh, Mikhail, uh, His Excellency, Ambassador, Speakers, Journalists, and other guests. Welcome to the fourth Free Market Roadshow Slovenia. This is the fourth time that we are hosting this roadshow, but otherwise the roadshow is on for the seventh year in a row. This year the roadshow is touring Europe and it is touring 30 cities uh, all over for eight weeks and we are lucky that we can host the Slovenian stop. Um, let me mention a couple of other organizations besides the Tilling, that is a local organizer that have um, put a lot of input into this uh, uh, conference. Um, these are the Economic, um, I'm sorry, the Austrian Economic Center, uh, and I, will, uh, I do want to recognize Dr. Barbara Kohn, who is not with us today, unfortunately, and she is the master, mastermind behind this roadshow, and we do miss her, but we know that she is very busy, so we are sending her greetings from Ljubljana. Uh, the second organization that is helping us with the organization of the roadshow is the Liberty Fund. Uh, if you had a chance uh, to stop by their uh, table outside, you can pick up um, a sheet of paper where you will find all their books listed at a discount price. So I do encourage you to pick up that sheet of paper because there is a discount code written on. And you can go home and check online and then select the books uh, and they will ship it to your home. The third organization that I would like to mention is the European Students for Liberty. Uh, it's a young organization, a couple of years old. Uh, we do have a Slovenian branch, and they are uh, devoted in, uh, to promoting liberty among students. Uh, for all those students that are here and interested in topics that are going to be discussed today, and in general about freedom, I do uh, encourage you to talk to Rok Novak, who's here in the second row. Uh, he will be later at the table outside, so you may talk to him about how to get involved with the organization um, and get to know them what they do. Uh, and the last uh, organization that I would like to mention is Freedom Works uh, from the United States that has been involved with the roadshow for a couple of years as well. Uh, media sponsors of this event are local newspapers that you all know. Uh, they are Vecher and Torte, and we thank them for their support. I also want to acknowledge the Slovenian staff that has been working tirelessly in producing this uh, event. Um, and they are, most of them they are outside at the moment, and I hope they can hear me um, because they have done a marvelous job. And um, I want to thank them for that. I also want to thank our donors. Uh, some of you um, are already donors, and I do. Thank you for your support. As you know, Slotilink does not accept any government money or any money from companies that have government shares. And that is very important for us, and we will keep doing that. This means also that we are funded solely by private uh, donations. Uh, and in Slovenia, that is hard because, uh, as you know, uh, philanthropy is not developed to the extent that it is in the Western world. But um, uh, we have people that follow us and we have people that help us financially and we thank them uh, for doing that because without them we wouldn't be able to do what we do and we wouldn't be able to put up a conference as this one today. Today we are up for an excellent conference with excellent speakers. Um, I firmly believe that ideas matter, but it is not just the ideas that matter but also uh, their application into public policy, uh, institutions, laws, etc. And this is the intent of this conference. It is about discussing how to apply the ideas into various spheres of, lives, uh, of life and all things that we do. Thank you all for coming. I wish you a wonderful day with us. And at this point, I will welcome His uh, Excellency Ambassador of Austria to Slovenia to uh, greet you. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much. Uh, it is an honor for me to greet you at this point. It 
it's not my first time, actually it's my fifth time, because I was ambassador in Serbia before in Belgrade, and there I did it for four times to create this uh, free market roadshow. But I think it's a, the only reason that I'm invited is that uh, the Austrian Econ Economic Center is located in Vienna. And, uh, but some, there's something more. I'm, I'm fond of the ideas. I've, I have two reasons for this. The first one is that my father was a professor at the university and a great uh, admirer of Hayek and Mises and so on. So from my childhood, I, I, I heard about these ideas. And, and, um, and I think it's important that these ideas are spread over the world and that they should influence more our economies and freedom, the thought of freedom in our societies. And the second uh, thought I would just like to, to introduce is uh, the future of Europe at stake, which is the title of this conference. Uh, we used to say that this is a very crucial moment for the European Union. It's always a crucial moment. Uh, but in, in, in five weeks we'll have uh, European elections for the European Parliament. Um, I think it's very important, and you cannot expect anything else, that uh, a member of the Austrian Diplomatic Service is a staunch supporter of the European integration and of the European Union. But I think we need thoughts like the thoughts of liberty, of, of economic freedom, and, and, and so on, uh, to be stronger heard in, in, in European politics. So I wish this conference uh, all success, a good discussion, and thank you very much.